Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio. Today I thought I'd run some tracks through my Vintage Interface Electronics Series 100 mixer. The thing is full of inductor-based EQs and transformers. In fact, it even has some API output transformers on the subgroups or buses. I'm going to use a pair of those today to print a mix through the mixer. It's going to be an interesting experiment. I've chosen a track that's not really super noisy and it's fairly simple. I'm only going to send seven things through the console, kind of sweeten them with the EQ and combine them in the mixer, sending them through those API output transformers so we can hear what the transformers and inductor EQ sound like on this track. But first, let's hear the digital version of the mix. This is with no processing in the box or otherwise. The track's just the way they were recorded, being played back at 24-bit digital. I'm going to demonstrate some tracks through all the transformers in this Vintage Interface Series 100 console. This console has buyer input transformers. The line inputs here do go through the transformers. It also has API output transformers on the subgroups. So I'm using one and two tracks, one and two, or subgroups one and two as our stereo mix. And I've got seven different things running into the line inputs of the mixer from the DAW. Got drums here in stereo, bass guitar, electric guitar, a stereo organ track, and then a guitar solo. So I'm going to play these through this mixer, through all the transformers and the inductor based EQs. I'm going to have some screenshots of the EQ settings. I'll probably turn some of these while I'm playing it through so you can hear what something sounds like through all this vintage goodness.
It's really cool. It sounds really nice and warm. It's kind of hard to get the organ to come through the mix. It's a little bit dark, but I added some high end to the drum tracks, a little bit of mids to the bass, and added some mids to the keyboards, the organ as well, that helped it come out of the mix a little bit. And overall, it sounds really good. It Drums especially sound good through this. I suppose I could run things through this, like multiple drum tracks through this to drive these transformers and then run it back into the DAW and blend that with the dry tracks. There's probably all kinds of things I could do, but this is a nice little color box to some tracks through with a little bit of EQ to kind of sweeten the tracks. So I think that was really cool. Let's drive these output transformers a little bit harder and play this mix again, especially the drums here. Let's really start hitting those transformers and saturate the mix a little bit more. So I was really happy with the way that the organ sounds when you start to push the organ sounds into that transformers and everything in this mixer. It sounds really nice. Adding a little bit of highs and mids with the inductor EQ on that organ actually sounded really nice too. Really helped it pop out of the mix in a good way. The bass guitar sounds really good too, but you can tell as I start to push that, it starts to saturate a little bit too much. Same with this lead guitar over here. The drums, you can make it kind of break up a little bit, but if you find the sweet spot, it really warms things up and adding a little bit of high mids and high frequency with the inductor-based EQ on the mixer sounds really good and really smooth on these drums. But overall, I think this little mixer is a great color box. Probably would be really good to run things through and then you know run things out through this and then back into the computer and then you could blend it with the dry track. Uh, it's a really nice little tool to have in the studio, as well as having nice mic preamps. Make sure to check out all the other videos I've made about the Stevenson Interface Series 100 mixer. I've recorded drums with this. I think I did another summing video. In that video, I had a problem with one of the cables being wired out of phase for this mixer. So this video is hopefully an improvement on that one. Make sure to check those out. There's even some more shots of the insides of this if you're curious about such things. The Interface Electronics Series 100 is not perfect, but that's part of its charm. It's a vintage piece. The one I have has not really been restored or anything, but there's nothing that prevents it from being usable. It has some flaws and some character in the sound, but it sounds really good all the same. I especially like the way drums sound through it, and I thought that the organ sounded really good through it as well. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. 
While you're there, check out all the links in the video description for ways to help support this channel as well as other videos that relate to this video, including all my other Stevenson Interface Electronics Series 100 videos. I hope each and every one of you out there has an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks for watching.